Bago po tayong manalangin, sinabi po sa aklat ng Talawa Corinto, Kabanata 2, Talatang 14, Subalit salamat sa Diyos na siyang laging nagdadala sa atin sa pagtatagumpay kay Kristo at sa pamamagitan niya ay ipinahayag ang samyo ng pagkakilala sa Kanya sa bawat dako. Dito yung sinasagot ang panglimang dahilan kung bakit tayo narito sa mundo. Tayo'y nilikha para sa isang misyon na ipakilala ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mga buhay. Tayo po'y manalangin. Maraming pong salamat, dakilang Diyos, sapagkat kami yung pinagtatagumpay sa aming mga programa, activities, sa mga layunin. Kami hinuhubog po ninyo upang lalong maging epektibong kasangkapan upang lumaganap ang kabutihan dito sa aming bayan. Salamat po sa buhay ng aming vice mayor, sa lahat ng mga konsihal at mga empleyado dito sa sangguniang bayan. Kayo po, Diyos, ang siyang patuloy na gumabay. Dagdagan niyo po ang karunungan ng bawat isa, pagkalooban niyo ang bawat isa ng kalusugan at kalakasan, ng katsagaan, at koronahan niyo po ng tagumpay ang kanilang mga abilidad. Igawad niyo po, Diyos, ang inyong mapagpalang bendisyon sa bawat isa ritong nagkatipon at maging sa mga konsihal na nagdaraos ng kanilang kaarawan. Naway pagpalain kayo ng Diyos at ingatan kayo. Paliwana, ginawa ng Diyos ang kanyang buka sa inyo at mahabag sa inyo. Ilingap na wa ng Diyos ang kanyang buka sa inyo at bigyan kayo ng kapayapaan habang kayo ay nabubuhay sa pangalan ng Panginoon Jesus. Amen. Ang kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Bayang magiliw, peras ng silamanan, alap ng puso, sa ditig mo'y buhay. Lupang hinilang, duyan ka ng magiging, sa manlulupi, di ka pa sisigil, sa dagat at mundo, sa simoy at sa langit mong bukaw. May hilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang islat ng watawat mo'y tagumpay na nagdilinig. Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pa may magdilinig. Lupa ng araw ng buhat at pagsinta, buhay ay langit sa piling mo. Ang hindigaya Thank you, Pastor. Like the shoes. <laughs> okay, roll call, please. Honorable Shernan Haro. Honorable Emilio Ginaldi V. Honorable Argel Joseph Reyes. Honorable Mary Gemini Yuloginto. Honorable Arnel Cantimbuhan. Honorable Dennis Laxon. Honorable Jeffrey V. Asistio. Present. Honorable Oscar Tigiros. Honorable Ezekiel Rapeta Jr. Honorable Darlan J. Sayarot. Honorable Presiding Officer with seven members present, one sick leave, and one on official business. We have a quorum. Thank you. We'll now proceed with the approval of the calendar business. Honorable members, I believe you've reviewed the calendar of business. Do I have a motion? Are there any amendments? Muna? Pala? No? No amendments? Yes, Honorable Ginto? Right. Uh, are there any objections to the motion of the Honorable Ginto? None? So, calendar business is adopted. Reading of the preceding minutes, Mr. Secretary. You have the floor. Minutes of the 32nd se regular session held last October 18, 2011. Held at Sangguni Bayan Session Hall in Muscabite, a call to order. The session was called to order by the presiding officer at 10 a.m. A 10-minute recess was declared. The session resumed at 10.07 a.m. Opening prayer, the opening prayer was led by Pastor Ronaldo Saulog. C. National Anthem, the National Anthem was sung. D. Roll call. The presiding officer asked the secretary to call the roll. After the roll was called, the secretary declared that there is a quorum with nine members present and the following comprised the quorum. 
For those who were present, Vice Mayor Mandy Ilano, the presiding officer, Honorable Mary Gemini Yuluginta, the presiding officer pro tempore, and Honorable Shannon Haro, Honorable Emilio Aguilar V, Honorable Arnel Catimbuhan, Honorable Dennis Laxon, Honorable Jeffrey B. Asisto, Honorable Oscar De Quiros, Honorable Ezekiel B. Repeta Jr., and Honorable Darla J. Sayarot were the Sangreba members present during the 32nd regular session for absent, Honorable Argel Joseph Reyes. E. Approval of the calendar of business, Honorable Sharon Saro requested a three-minute recess. The session resumed at 10.12 a.m. On motion of Honorable Sharon Saro, unanimously seconded by all the members present, the calendar of business for the 32nd regular session was declared approved by the body. Reading of the preceding minutes, the presiding officer dispensed the reading of the attachments. Honorable Mary Gemini Yulo Ginto made a motion to amend the third sentence of 4.2 of other matters with the following amendment. Honorable Laxon recalled that Honorable Haro suggested to the Municipal Engineering Office to submit their recommendation on the construction uh, bond to be paid by the contractors and subcontractors. On motion of Honorable Sharon S. Haro, unanimously seconded by all the members present, the minutes of the 31st regular session held on October 11, 2011, was adopted by the body as amended. G. Matters arising from the minutes. We have none. H. Informational matters. H.1, an invitation letter from Honorable Homer T. Saklayan regarding the Talakayan ng Barangay 2011. A forum to be conducted by the Treasurer's League of Cavite on October 21, 2011, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Buluwagang Ugnayan. The matter was for the information of the body. The President Officer stated that if the body can join the invitation, especially the Chair of the Committee on Finance and Appropriation, H.2, an invitation from SK Federation President Honorable Darlon J. Sayarot regarding the first SK Organizational Leadership and Reorientation Basic Orientation Seminar or the Scholar Boss to be held on the 24th to 26th of October 2011 at the Development Academy of the Philippines, Tagaytay City. The matter was for the information of the body. H.3, a seminar on Sangunan Information System for the Implementation of Legislative Tracking and Performance Monitoring Project, LTPMP, of the DILG Bureau of Local Government Development on October 19 and 20, 2011 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Sangguniang Bayan Session Hall. The presiding officer stressed that everybody should attend the seminar. I, calendar of business, number one. Business for third reading, we have none. Two, unfinished business, we also have none. Three, business for the day. A, first reading referral to committees, A.1. FR 08-11-113, a request for a resolution approving the subdivision plan submitted by Lopscom Realty Corporation Good Life Residences Subdivision Project located at Malagasang 2C, Imus Cavite. The matter was referred to the Committee on Zoning and Land Utilization. Honorable Arnel M. Cantimbuhan requested two weeks to report on the matter. A.2, FR 08-11-114, a letter transmitted to Honorable Oscar B. De Quiros from the Sangguniang Barangay of Anubu 1F asking help to resolve their problem at the pedicab station in their barangay. The matter was referred to the Committee on Transportation and Communication. Honorable Oscar B. De Quiros requested two weeks to report on the matter. A.3, FR 08-11-115, submitted to the Sangguniang Bayan of Imus for its review and approval are the following barangay revenue measures, namely, number one, Barangay Ordinance Number 2011-001 of Barangay Tansan Luma 4 and Number 2, Barangay Ordinance Number 04-2011 of Barangay Medition 2A. The matter was referred to the Joint Committees of the Committee on Ordinances and Legal Matters and Committee on Barangay Affairs. Honorable Mary Gemini Yuluginto requested two weeks to report on the matter. A.4, FR 08-11-116. A letter from Honorable Homer T. Saklayan requesting for the realignment of funds of various offices of the municipality mostly for gasoline expenses considering the shortage of appropriation due to the recent oil price increase and some other expenses which are deemed necessary. The matter was referred to the Committee on Finance and Appropriation. Honorable Mary Gemini Yuluginto requested two weeks to report on the matter. A.5, FR 08-11-117, a letter from Police Superintendent Hersan Hierko Mojica, Chief of Police of Imus, requesting to adopt an ordinance for the imposition of penalties 